This is Echo 3, and let's discuss landing a space shuttle. Every so often, the question is asked, how do you land at the Kerbal Space Center runway? I can tell you that after you hit the 2000 hour mark of playing that it does get easier. Being that you are watching a tutorial on the topic, you would probably like to learn a little bit more quickly than me. In this scenario, I am starting in an equatorial orbit that is roughly circular. If you are already able to get shuttles into orbit, then you are probably able to get into orbit like this regularly. If you're not familiar with building space shuttles, then you can check out my tutorial on the topic. I am going to set the Space Center as my target destination and get to a point over Kerbin where the KSC is about a quarter way around the planet from my location. To reference a clock, my craft is at the 6 o'clock and the KSC is at 3. From this point, I'm going to perform my deorbit burn. This shuttle is using the puff engines, much like the orbital maneuvering engines on NASA's space shuttles. The engines are aligned with the center of mass, but not with the orientation of the cockpit. So, I have a docking port rotated 10 degrees in the cargo bay and set it as the control point when using the puff engines. I am watching where my orbital path intersects Kerbin. I am wanting it to be just a little past the KSC. If you are using a higher orbit or coming from further out like the MUN, then you will probably want to make a narrow braking pass to lower your apoapsis under 150 kilometers first. From this point, it will be easier to figure out where you're going to land. For me, a key to landing back on the runway is consistency. By starting from a similar orbit, I can land where I want. During re-entry, I'm having this shuttle hold a 10 degree angle of attack using the offset docking port as the control point and holding prograde. The real shuttle would hold a 40 degree angle of attack, and that would have been better here as well, but I don't have a built-in general purpose computer to control my re-entry. Having another docking port in the front of the payload bay rotated 40 degrees may have been a good idea to help the craft hold a higher angle of attack. Like the real shuttles, I will be using the atmosphere to help slow the craft down. Also, once I'm low enough, I can use the aerodynamic properties of the craft to steer right to the runway. The real shuttles would perform a preset series of S-turns in order to bleed off speed and ultimately line up with the runway. The shuttles would use heading alignment cones located 48 kilometers on either side of the center line of the runway to get themselves lined up. You can actually do something similar by planting flags on either end of the runway. This has the added benefit of giving you your range. For this flight, I didn't set up flags, but I do have a piece of debris at the KSC helping me determine my range. If you are like me and see that you're going to overshoot the runway, you have a couple of options. In this case, I have enough energy left to turn the craft around and land on the runway coming from the other direction. If I was traveling even faster at this point or was a little higher, I would probably have tried to land at the island runway. It is better to have a little too much energy and to bleed it off with maneuvers and the use of air brakes rather than to have too little energy and not make it back to the runway. This craft doesn't have any air brakes, but the real shuttles had a rudder that would split and help it air brake. The brakes can be a good idea. Sometimes I build my shuttles with two vertical stabilizers and have them deploy in opposite directions when I apply the brakes to act as a way to slow down. Air brakes are generally a, a good idea and I, I just didn't put them on this craft. What I did do is I would deploy my elevons in opposite directions and that would act as a way to air brake the craft. It also helps save on mass and parts. So it's just kind of a, a cheap air brake there, but anything to help slow the craft down, create drag. You can even sometimes open the cargo bay to create some drag there, but watch out and what it's gonna do to the aerodynamic properties. Since I don't have air brakes, it makes it a little trickier, but I do have a parachute and I'll be using it to assist with the landing. I made sure that I was gonna be rolling smoothly on the runway before acting, activating the brakes. This is Echo 3, and thanks for joining me to discuss landing a space shuttle back at the KSC. I'll see you next time.